Hey everybody, it's your girl Brittany with BB's Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. We are here with week two with the Dollar Tree Valentine collaboration that is hosted by C, who is C's Creations. And she's doing this through the Facebook page, Crafty Manipulators. And if you perhaps have missed out on week one, I will have that video down below in the description box. And also while you're there, make sure you check out the other ladies who are participating in this collaboration as well. Everyone did a beautiful job with their hanging element. So this week, we had to get a Dollar Tree mailbox and alter that. We had to include a 3x3 three three note card, a note, and then something we like to craft with. So, um, I did some fun little things with my mailbox. I'm so super excited. Actually, the Dollar Tree, I'm not sure if all of them were like that, but mine had like three different sizes. <laughs> and so um, there's like small, medium, or large. There was no uh, specification on which one to do. I think I grabbed the one that's like borderline medium large, but I mean, we'll know here. <laughs> um, I just want to share a couple things that I did use. I used these uh, Valentine Crafts paint pens that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, these are super fun. I'm missing the white one. It's somewhere in my area. <laughs> and then I use these hearts here. These are also from Hobby Lobby in their Valentine section as well. And then I think those are like the main things I did. I will include a picture of what my mailbox looked before because I did completely alter it as well. So here is my mailbox. Ah, it's so cute. There's the front, here's the other side, and then the back. So before I go over everything I have going on on the um, outside, I will show um, everything else. I did not put my letter in yet because I'm going to wait to see who um, my partner is and then I will write my letter. But my things that I, abs that I love to craft with, um, I did a few things because one of my favorite things to craft with is my hot glue gun. Y'all know that that is my baby. And um, obviously, I can't fit a glue gun in my mailbox. So I did put glue sticks in. Every lady that is participating has a glue gun. So I know that this will be very beneficial. My other thing is bling. You know I love to put some bling on some things. And so I got these little... Um, pretty silver heart stickers and then of course we all know I am a sucker for shakers and I did some sequin mix here very valentiney colors so that is what will be going on the inside of my mailbox this is my card the envelope I punched out a little heart here and put it in the front and then I also lined the top of the envelope and then inside here is my little lovely note card. I wanted to keep it kind of flat just in case, you know, they were to send it off to someone. The base comes from a Sparkling Co. She, uh, it has um, this gold foil like um, card base. And then again, I just used some scraps here, some pink bling. I uh, punched out the word love, has some glitter pink hearts, and then I have another bigger heart there. And then here's the inside. I matted it three times. So with the paper uh, that I have matted on the top, I had that as my bottom layer, then with gold, and then with white, and a little bling there on the corner. So that is my note card for my partner. And then on to the mailbox. So, oh my goodness. Okay. So first thing I did was, I mean, if you've seen from the before picture, I completely painted it with acrylic black paint. I did a couple layers of it so it could try to eliminate um, all the stuff previously. I didn't do like the bottom or anything like that because who's really going to see the bottom. And then I applied some pom pom, pink pom pom trim around the edges. Um, I got this from the Target Dollar Spot this year. I also used these little uh, tags that say hello love and with a little gem in the center and I did that in the front as well but this one with the bow and these I also got from the Target dollar spot then do this side here so there you saw that had a little um, mailbox little hangy thingy dilly my bobber so I took that off and then I grabbed a straw and then I layered the hearts on there and added some red and white twine and then I used a uh, brad and 
put that in there instead. So now we have the cute little straw that goes like that. And then I took the little paint markers and I wrote Be Mine on there. And then I took the stickers and kind of like let it, you know, like it's blooming hearts going all throughout. And then on this side, so I was cutting out some gnomes and I didn't realize that one of my gnomes, I'm going to tell y'all what happened, okay? I didn't realize that um, the, t the hat of my gnome didn't cut all the way through on one of them, but I didn't want to waste it because I had already paper pieced it together before I had realized it. And so I was like, <gasps> so now my gnome is hiding in a bush of flowers. <laughs> And then um, this, the green, the green greenery <laughs> that you see here. This is actually that um, like vinyl or whatever that you get from Dollar Tree. And I use my paper punched, and so I, I use some like a sticker. I paper punched them out with my um, punch, and then applied them on there. So it'll be the little bit of greenery there and these are what we call Tiffany flowers. <laughs> Tiffany, who's also a part of the collaboration. She showed how to, you know, um, pretty much use up your stash or create like simple flowers um, by spritzing them with water and then crumpling them up. And then you get this little uh, rose, <coughs> excuse me, sorry y'all, not rose, but uh, like a carnation accent here. And so I did that and then I distressed it with my Tim Holtz Distress Side ink. And I believe I used the vintage photo on this one, I, on these. It was either the vintage photo or the tea dye. So one of those two I did, and I did red, white, pink, and gold. And then I also used um, some other flowers that are in my stash. These came from Cuddle Me Clay Tay. And I, you know, did them in like little filler spots. And of course I pushed out some butterflies. I almost went without it, y'all, but I thought it would've been so cute. <coughs> Excuse me. I applied one here onto this flower, have one down here by the gnome, and then have one up here up top. I also added some um, sprays and sprigs there, and then I took part of um, the straw and I put it on top of the lid here so it'll be easier to open and close. So yeah, that is what I did. I really, really hope you guys like this because I had so much fun altering and creating this project. And let, let me see if this all fits in there nicely. Yeah, there we go. Love it. So, oh my goodness, I just love this so much. I want to keep it. <laughs> but thank you so much, guys. Make sure you check out the other ladies. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You know what? It doesn't hurt to subscribe to my channel either. And so I will just hang out with you guys in the next video. Bye.